He is still reeling over this week's deadly stabbing on the H3 freeway involving a Marine who allegedly murdered his estranged wife. Honolulu police are still investigating whether the couple had a history of abuse. And experts say abuse in the military is an ongoing issue that they are continually working to address. KITV4's Aali Duklo has more. Divorce attorneys tell me military couples often face more dire stressor than civilian pairs. Being far away from home, not having a support system to help care for their kids, and for many, the job itself. During COVID, divorces slowed down. Since COVID, they've picked up dramatically. Honolulu lawyers I spoke with say they often encounter military divorce cases involving domestic violence. But there are regulations, attorney Noah Gibson says, that may deter a military couple from pursuing a divorce. If a military service member has an affair, for example, that could be grounds for losing a job. So that's sort of a double-edged sword, right? You have the service member who's worried about losing their job. But you also have a spouse who, if they're honest about the infidelity, loses the income that would be generated for their children or for support. Molly Turpin of Greg Ryan and Associates reports about half of their divorce cases involve military unions. She adds the stress of divorce alone could amplify abusive tendencies and custody battles often complicate the process. Triggers that tend to escalate things quickly. Gibson says military couples he litigates are often younger and may not be as mature as an older couple. Donna Alotaibi, a military spouse who was allegedly murdered by her husband, was 27 years old. Those seem to be factors that could be likely and um, are present in a lot of our other cases. Additionally, service members who are married with children earn higher pay, so there's a financial incentive to tie the knot. Added pressure to an already stressful career. Often unnoticed, there is help for victims of abuse and for batterers as well. Janet Covington of the Cohen Clinic encourages potential abusers to seek help. Warning signs include feeling compelled to control your partner and bouts of anger and violence. Covington adds military personnel often use anger to adapt to being deployed. We really try to help with the adjustment and to getting the feelings that work for them elsewhere the, to, to change and be more adaptive to where they are today. The Domestic Violence Action Center reports military couples make up 10% of their caseload. Go to KITV.com for information on resources for both potential batterers and victims of domestic abuse. Ali Iduklo, KITV4, Island News.